because you're going to love our next performers, because we love them. They're a great bunch of guys. How long can we talk before we see all the tables fill up? Oh, I can talk for a really long time. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I don't want that. Uh, does anybody have Advil out there or no? Does anybody, oh, not for you, buddy. No, 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 I'm not talking about you. You know, that's okay. Yeah. Trust me, my dad, you know, my dad's here. He always says he spent two years teaching me to talk and he spent the rest of my life trying to shut me up. So. I feel sorry for your dad. <laughs> did I? I did say that out yeah, loud. Yeah, you might want to go talk to him. I do feel him. sorry for him. Where's dad? Where he's, is dad? Can dad he's wave the old he's guy over there waving. Seat? Where is he? He's over there. You see the table uh, oh, waving? Oh, oh, my word, Mr. Pope. I'm so, like, I'm so sorry. You and I have to talk later. I'm so sorry. I mean, all your other kids, I'm sure, are great. I don't even know how many other ones you have. I know that there's another brother. I definitely know that because he threw you under the bus this afternoon on Facebook. Yeah, he has he does my that. back, though. Yeah, he, he does I that like that brother, but we'll work on him, okay? I'm a work in progress. <laughs> All, right, All right, so our next act had three top 10 singles. Five top 20 singles. 15, 15 Country Music Award winners. Over 2.3 million views on YouTube. And over 5 million streams on Spotify. They are the group of the year for the CCMA Awards. Put your hands together, you guys, for the Washboard, Washboard Union! Union. It's that hometown feeling, back town screaming, riding those streets that you've always known.
I'm a little concerned some people are having too much of a good time because I'm not supposed to be out here giving out an award. But uh, the gentleman who's supposed to be here, his name is Kurt, so they said go out there. So I'm going to give a chance. Uh, Kurt, you're around? Kurt from Country 97? Kurt, you're here somewhere. Where you are. Hey, Kurt, can you get your butt up here? And the Kurtz can give out an award. Come on. Let's get up here. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Flesher. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good, good. Holy crap. Wow, it's, uh, it's really great to be here giving out the Studio of the Year Award. Uh, you know, I spend a lot of my time in studios, actually a huge amount. We actually have an open concept, which is a little weird for just about every studio. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a mixing board. It's not the same as what they use when they go into a studio. But uh, we are uh, really not allowed to touch anything. Yeah, we're really not allowed to touch any of the knobs or anything. We'll probably knock the station off air. Me specifically, do I do that a lot, to be honest. I've done that. All right, well, we've got some nominees here. The nominees are... Wait for it. <laughs> here are your nominees for Recording Studio of the Year. 604 Records. Bailey Way Woo! Entertainment, Fiddler Productions, Orbeck Music Productions, Rain Coast Music, Studio Down Under. Wow. All right, I've, I've never had to open an official envelope before. The winners are Studio Down Under! Where is Soren? I think I see him over there. Come on over, brother. Wow. Well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this because most of you know what a recording studio is. That's where we try to record the music that you, you love so much. So, but. I, but I want to really uh, express my the most imper important person in my life is my wife Janice, and uh, she deserves, some, deserves so much credit because she's upstairs visiting with everybody when they have to go to the washroom. They go upstairs to the washroom, they come back down, and we carry on. So, and uh, she really enjoys that, I know. Um, and also, I'd like to thank all the artists, the producers, and all the the great musicians I get to work with. I feel it's a real privilege and. Uh, an honor for me to have that opportunity, so thank you very much. Yeah. All right, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> Our next presenter has extensive knowledge in the music industry, working in and behind the scenes of the prestigious artist-related companies such as Canadian Music Week, Indie Week, and Factor. Please welcome President of Hamel Entertainment, Catherine Hamel. Good evening, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be here all the way from Ontario celebrating country music in BC tonight. I have the pleasure of presenting a Record Professional of the Year Award. Let's see who the nominees are. <laughs> Nominees Recording Professional of the Year Award Carly McKillop Savard, Jay Bittner, Jordan Orbeck, Paul Chateau, Scott Cook, Soren Lundquist. And the winner is Jordan Orbeck.
Wow. Thank you so much, PCCMA, everybody who voted for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is my first award, so I think you thank the people who uh, brought you up and encouraged you along the way for your first award. Uh, I want to thank Jeff Johnson for that, for uh, mentoring me over the years, and I wouldn't be here without you, man, so thanks very much. I want to thank my wife and my kids. Uh, my wife sleeps alone a lot because I'm doing mixed revisions in the studio because of you guys. So, uh, you know, I really thank you for that, Kelsey. Thank you for all the sacrifices you make, and I love you very much. So uh, thanks very much, BCCMA, and all the other nominees. To present the SOCAN Songwriter of the Year is a man who works with songwriters all the time. He was instrumental in developing Washboard Union's Quick Rise, along with the Chris Buck Band. He's also been an agent for Patricia Conroy, Aaron Goodvin, Rick Tippy, and many others both here and across Canada. He's both a, both a vice president and an agent at Sakamoto Agency. Please make him feel welcome, Paul Byro. She made me nervous. <laughs> Not like Mrs. Byro, who also makes me nervous. Thanks for coming, babe. Let's see, is Wendell Fergus or Wendell, is Wendell still writing this stuff? Love that guy. Okay, so this is probably better this year. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Somebody's lost money. No, no. Um, this is why I'm an agent, lame here are your number. Anyways, okay. So, producer of the year, right? Producer of the year. So I know a couple of these guys personally. I think producer of the year is such an important part of what we do. And so they help me make money for artists. And they help by being a creative outlet for artists and an encourager and a mentor and often they're the guys who keep them on track so that when they get to me, I can actually book them for money. So with no further ado, here's the nominees for Producer of the Year. The nominees for Producer of the Year. Anthony Fiddler. Dan Schwinnemer. Jeff Johnson. Mitch Woo! Merritt. Woo! Scott Cook. And the winner is my dear friend, Jeff Johnson. <laughs> Jeff's a great guy, lovely family. Produce that song, Redneckin' by Chris Buck. Many others. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, thank you so much to the BCCMAs. I didn't expect to even be standing here today with, with, the, with all those names in the category. To be honest, I... I'm so thankful for every artist that I get a chance to work with. I'm thankful for the time that I'm, I'm given by my family, Kate. Um, my lovely wife is here. Give it up for Kate. Um, she gives me the, the space I need and the time and, and dedicates her life to the kids and the family and making sure that what I can do for the artists is putting my heart and soul into everything that I record. And honestly, it's an honor to just be able to you know, have a small factor in, or a little bit of agency in your guys' music. Um, everybody on that ballot deserves to win this. It's not just about me. I'm honored to be named tonight as the producer of the year. And thank you to everyone at the BCC Maze who worked so hard, Linda, the whole team, Cindy, you guys are all like, you guys are the crew. And to the artists who trust me to help shape and craft their careers, I am on, I'm honored every time 
to just get a chance to press record and, and listen to what comes out. So thank you so much to everybody, and let's have a great night tonight. Thank you. It's me again. Sorry. But there's a reason I'm out here alone, because our next performer is my co-host tonight, and uh, she wrote my script. So do you think I'm going to read it? No. No, actually, no, we tease each other. Uh, Karen Lee Batten first phoned me up when I was working up at Country 97 in Prince George years ago when she had her first single out and thanked me for playing it, and she was just so awesome on the phone, so personable and so much fun, I thought, yeah, she's pretty cool. So now, all these years later, all these years later, you hear that? I, uh, I te we tend to pick on each other, but it comes from a loving place. Of course, she's got that new album out, Under the Covers, in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. She went to Muscle Shoals and did this album at the legendary Fame Studios. Did you just text me? No, she didn't. One of my kids. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it was KLB. And of course, she's got her new album out on vinyl. Well, it's soon to be out on vinyl, so if you've got a record player, you've got to get a copy of this. And of course, she's a six-time BC CMA Female Vocalist of the Year for a darn good reason. This girl can sing. She's awesome. Please welcome the lovely and talented and my co-host for the evening, which is a treat for me, Karen Lee Batten.
an awesome night. I know I am. I have to say, I don't know how these guys do it. Has anyone ever tried to film anything? A selfie video, a live video, a home video? Okay, wait, that's not what I meant, and I don't want to hear about yours either. Video Director of the Year Award. Andrew Davies, Jackson Hollow, Brad Darren, Cole Northey, Aaron Prichette, Beamer Wigley, Michael Elliott, Hillside Outlaws, Stefano Barbaris, Dallas Smith, Chad Brownlee, The Washboard Union, Cadu, Jesse Mast, Wes Mack, Wes Mack. And the award goes to Stefano Barbaris. I'll give the fourth holy shit of the evening. <laughs> I won't be as vulgar as I am at the CCMAs, but um, geez, <sighs> I'm kind of speechless. Uh, this is my 19th BCCMA. Uh, not that I'm, I'm trying not to be rude by counting, but I just, I can't, uh, I have to acknowledge it. It's, you guys are like a big family to me. Um, 19 makes me feel old. <laughs> And I also feel like if I don't get a 20th next year, it'll be kind of rude. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I would never assume anything. No, I feel, uh, I feel like you guys are a big family, and um, I can't put into words how much better this feels every single time you win it. It doesn't get more dull. Um, I'm really touched by this. Um, I have a lot of thank yous. I want to thank God first for giving me a really crazy imagination and visual. Um, that's number one. Um, I want to thank my wife, Krista, of course, for putting up with me and endless nights in the basement editing. And um, of course, all the incredible artists I work with, these BC artists this year, Dallas Smith, Chad Brownlee, Kadu, uh, Washboard Union are here too. Uh, of course, the label, 604 Records, my family here, uh, Warner, incredible label as well. 
Uh, thank you to every single voter that voted for me. This means so much. It's like 19, are you not sick of me yet? <laughs> so I'm, thank you for liking what I do. Um, and I think I'm forgetting people. Probably my producer, David. Uh, and I don't know what else. I'm really nervous up here. So thank you again. This means so much to me. You know him as the Evening Man, newly appointed music director at 93.7 JRFM. She's the head of country at 604 Records, looking after artists such as Kadu, Jojo Mason, Andrew Hyatt, and some other guy named uh, Dallas Smith. Put them together for Mr. Jackson Hawks and Jenna Robson. Seems a little weird to have a radio guy give out a video award. Why is that, Jackson? Because radio killed a video star? You're not old enough to make that joke. Yeah, I know. I think some of Wendell Ferguson's jokes made it into this year's script. <laughs> Looks that way. Videos have been a huge part of artists' careers for over 40 years. This year, we've had some amazing videos made by BC Talent. Here are the nominees for Video of the Year. Nominees Video of Press the Year right Award. Aaron Burchett, Worth a Shot. Jojo Mason, Edge of the Night. The Heels, He's Not Where I'm Going. The Washboard Union, What We're Made Of. Wes Mack, House on Fire. And the award for Video of the Year. Goes to Aaron Pritchett, worth Woo! a shot. Jordan, you coming up? Are we accepting? Ah, there he is. Hey, Kim. Okay. First and, for, no, for, first and foremost. First and foremost. <laughs> Cole Northy, thank you for directing the video. It was a blast. Jillian Harris and Justin Pesuto were starring in it, and we want to thank them for being in it as well. And uh, we can be more proud. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, hon. She's the events manager for the Yale Saloon, and she has been supporting many of our local BCCMA artists for five plus years. He's a barbecue master who makes the best beef jerky ever. Hey, where's my free samples? Please welcome Pauline Jackson and Chef Evan Reeks. Definitely need to put the eyeballs on. So we get to give the award out for the best website of the year. Websites have come a long way in such a short time. Remember when you had to tell people www dot in front of web addresses? Uh, don't get me started. Uh, totally, Pauline. Let's face it, in today's music industry, you can't get anywhere without a great website. Uh, well, actually, you can't make it anywhere in any industry without a great website. Very true. And the following nominees all have a fantastic presence in the web. <laughs> Nominees Website of the Year Award. Ben Click, BenClick.com, Ben Click. Brad Darren, BradDarren.com. Angela Harris, Tiana LaFave Sanderson. Emily Taylor Adams, emilytayloradams.com, 
Jeff Ojeda. Karen Lee Batten, KarenLeeBatten.com. Karen Lee Batten, Media Vandals. The Heels, TheHeelsMusic.com. Kyla Rollins. The Washboard Union, Woo! TheWashboardUnion.com. Chris Dunner. But without further ado, uh, the Wednesday of the Year Award goes to the, the Washboard, Washboard Union. Hi. I don't actually know how my name ended up there, but I thank David and Aaron for that. Um, guys, thank you so much. We have such a great team that helped us put our brand new site together. I want to thank Rob Bolton from our team and Jeff Thistle uh, for helping capture what we wanted to with this new album, what we're made of, and, and the brand new site. So uh, thank you all, and uh, we very much appreciate this award. Thank you, BCCMA. Hi. <laughs> well, he just released a new seven song EP called Working on a Legacy, played over 30 shows this year, including Rock and River Fest, Sunfest, Calgary Stampede, and is the 2017 BCCMA Country Club Act of the Year. Nominated for eight awards tonight, he calls me Chocolate Spice. It's a long story, sorry Mike. And I think he's the most gentleman of country. Please put your hands together, you guys, for Mr. Ben Click. When I was just a little boy, my favorite thing of all my toys was a little magic box that I got for my birthday. Right there on the front, it said, make friends, be the life of the party. I can pull a rabbit from a hat. I can make a dove fly from my sleeve. I can show you what cards you picked. I can do all kinds of tricks, so why can't I make you love me? I spent hours learning how to juggle. Don't know why I went to all that trouble. All that silly slide of hand in Abracadabra. Girl, I throw it all away if only I could have you. I can pull a rabbit from a hat. I can make a dove fly from my sleeve. I can show you what card you picked I can do all kinds of tricks So why can't I make you love me? Of all the tricks I know You made it pretty clear The only one you wanna see Is when I disappear Everybody, I can pull a rabbit from a hat, I can make a dove fly from my sleeve, I can show you what card you picked, I can do all kinds of tricks. So, why can't I make you love me? I can show you what card you picked, I can do all kinds. So why can't I make you love me?
Our next presenter is a rare find, a musician with a really good day job. He is currently a managing broker with Remax. He has an extensive musical resume as a producer, composer, and performer. Please welcome Ari Lottenkorpi. Thank you. You know, it's a, it's a new world out there. You know, we've got, we've got Facebook, we've got Twitter, we've got Pinterest, LinkedIn, uh, Spotify, uh, Ugram, my Twit face, SnapTube, I don't even know. Uh, it's all confusing, and it gives most of us a headache, but these artists, they get it. They tell us what's up, they, they, they talk to their fans, they keep us in the loop, it's like another full-time job, job, and I'm glad it's them, not me, because I would probably need some chemical help. So, the nominees for Interactive Artist of the Year are... Nominees Interactive Artist of the Year Award. Aaron Prichette. AJ Jardine. Ben Click. Chris Buckband. Karen Lee Batten. The Heels. All right. And the Interactive Artist of the Year is Aaron Prichette. See if I could read your writing, though. No. Oh, no, you're not going to be He loves social media and funny stories. So the interactive artist. Mm -hmm. for, I, I think he would thank all the fans out there for him to be able to interact with. Um, actually, if I could even say something about my dad. That's one thing that I've always respected that, that he does. He'll sit in autograph lineups for three, five hours, however long it takes to get through everybody. And... Uh, yeah, uh, he's a really good role model for all of us artists out there, and uh, let's just leave it at that. Screw it, he said. <laughs> Thank you. Our next presenter is a multi-instrumentalist. He plays... Well, everything but the drums. Thank God, or I'd be out of a job. Plays keyboards, guitar. He's a singer-songwriter. Uh, I had the privilege of recording with him a few years ago, and I'm quite privileged and honored to call him my friend. Please welcome to the stage Jeff Robertson. This is a bunch of short people here. <laughs> oh, you know what? This is a really, really cool thing for me to present. Um, you know, radio. Who here didn't dream about being on the radio when they were kids? Um, everybody wanted to be the next big DJ at some point or another, right? I mean, I was one of them for sure. I actually uh, spent some of my youth as a nightclub DJ, and radio was what I aspired to. And it's totally cool to see that the people that are in this category never gave up on that dream, and in many cases never grew up. The nominees are... The nominees for Country On Air Personality, Area Code 604250. Casey Clark, New Country 100.7, Kelowna Penticton. Chris Coburn and Jessica Banks, Country 107.1, Abbotsford. Curtis Pope, Country 107.1, Abbotsford. Lewis Big Rig McIver, New Country 103.1 Kamloops. Scott George, New Country 100.7 Kelowna Penticton. All right, and the winner is, this is very cool. This is the first person 
ever to put one of my singles on radio. The winner is Mr. Curtis Pope. I can put the dress on again if you really like. No, no, we're good. Jeff says no. Um, thank you very much. I'm backstage looking over my notes, and I hear Jeff say my name, and I go, I wasn't paying attention. I don't even know what's going on. So thank you very much. Um, it's, uh, it's a huge honor when you think about the great broadcasters we have in this province that are playing great local country music and great country music out of Nashville, too. So it's, uh, it's very cool that you guys would vote for me. I appreciate that. And I want to thank my dad who came out here for supporting me all those years ago when I said I wanted to go on the radio. I want to thank my uh, long-suffering wife who has been with me, well, for 24 years. I've been in Radio 18. That means she's been putting up with me for a long, long, long time, and she'll tell you just how long it is. <laughs> but uh, thanks, Cal, and of course my kids, in case they're watching at home. Love you guys. Thanks for giving me lots of stuff to talk on the air because my kids are crazy. Makes life a little bit easier. And and thank you to all you artists. I've made a lot of great friends over the years, like Jeff, Todd Richard, Sean Meehan, all you guys. Uh, not only have you uh, guys put out great music, but you've been great friends too. Thank you. So sometimes it's not all fun and games, and um, we'd like to take this brief second to remember a couple of people that we actually lost this year. Um, they were probably two of, I would say, two of the people that loved country music more than anyone else that I know, and that's not an exaggeration. No, very passionate about the music and the format and and its roots, and where it was going. Mm -hmm. And we did have a little bit written out that we were going to say, but I think it's better that it just kind of comes from the heart, because I think that's what Curtis and I are better at than reading a script, as, you, as you've known. But um, one person that we lost this year was Bud Webb, and what a glorious man he was. He made the best Santa Claus I've ever seen, for one, and... I know that the country music artists in this room know exactly what I'm talking about. And another thing that the artists in this room would uh, reside with is I'm pretty sure that every single one of them have probably been contacted by Bud at some point in their career to either collaborate or sing a duo or write or something. And till the last day that he was with us, he was working in the country music industry and he loved it. And so. Um, to Bud, he will definitely be missed. We love you, buddy, and um, your memory lives on. And of course, yes, applaud that. And of course, we also lost Brett Johnson um, at far too young. He was only 32. And of course, Brett was a new dad, and Brett was a guy that was very passionate about music. Brett and me would have these conversations. He'd come into the studio, he'd arrive unannounced usually, just show up and go, hey man, can we talk? And I'd go, yeah man, sit down, let's talk. And we would talk about country music, where it's been, where it's going, what is great, what he didn't like so didn't much. Didn't he always have like ideas for you? Tons and, like... of ideas. He'd run song ideas by yeah. me, he'd play demos for me, and he'd come in all fired up because something on the radio ticked him off. And then he'd come in again and he'd go, but have you heard that new Eric Church song? Or have you heard that new Shooter Jennings song? He always found hope. And he always found why he loved country music. And uh, we all miss Brett very much, too. Brett, we love you, buddy. So they will forever be missed, but absolutely never forgotten. To Bud and Brett, if you have glasses, please raise please them, you guys. Them. Thank you.
Our next presenters come to us from the Cloverdale Rodeo. So they are used to BS, clowns, and eight seconds feeling like an eternity. Sounds a lot like the music industry. Please welcome Vice President Nicole Reeder and General Manager Mike McSorley. So we are here to present the radio station of the year. Today there are so many ways to listen to music, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, etc. Yet there's nothing better than hearing your song on the radio. Or, even better yet, your hometown station. Have you ever just called in to the station hoping so badly that your voice might get heard for even a second of fame, and then you freaked out when it did? Okay, come on, guys. You know you did. Oh, that really sucked. Can we try again? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> well, these stations all give BC artists that experience. Oh, for sure. 10 seconds of fame. Wow, this is just great. I love whoever wrote this. This is outstanding. One time I phoned into a radio station with talked to the late Neil McRae. I almost had a jammer. Now I'm talking to you people. I went to BCIT for radio, so I do appreciate this. This is oh, off script. This is off script. We're gonna go, we're now gonna say who the nominees are, but I'm not allowed to say them. They're gonna be up there on the video screen, and then we're gonna tell you after they roll it who won. The nominees for Radio Station of the Year. Country 107.1, Abbotsford. Country 97 FM, Prince George. New Country 100.7, Kelowna Penticton. New Country 103.1, Kamloops. You say it. Say it. Say it. Okay, drum roll. And the winner, thank you. <laughs> you guys are do what you're told, hey? Thank you. Come okay. We gotta get home. Liz Be patient. And the winner is Country 107.1. Oh, wow. Um, this is so cool because we have a whole table full of people here from the station, so make some noise over there. Because without that team, it means so much to win this award as a team because everybody gets to share in that. From Melanie, our sales manager over there who annoys you with those commercials, to Jen who works at the front desk and basically runs the station, and our entire crew, we, we love what we do. I can tell you honestly that radio is so much like WKRP you could never imagine. And every day, every one of us loves going to work. We love the people we work with. And it shows, and we love the fact that you love us. Thank you very much. The next award is for Group or Duo of the Year something our next presenter knows about as she currently sings and plays mandolin for Vancouver's alt-country sextet, The Wayward Hearts. Here to present this award is Creative BC's Gina Lowe's. Uh, thanks, Sean. Um, I'm so proud to be here. I am so impressed by all the bands we've had an opportunity to work with so far with Creative BC, and I can't wait to keep doing what we're doing. Um, each and every one of you works so hard uh, on and off the road, and there's so much talent in this room and, and an enormous community that um, we have a lot to be proud of. Uh, so with that, I'd like to announce the nominees for Group Duo of the Year. Nominees for Group Duo of the Year. Chris Buckband. Jackson Hollow. Roland Trainwreck. The Heels. 
the Washboard Union. And the winner for Group Duo of the Year is the Washboard Union. Uh, this one is very poignant to us. Uh, it's, it's called Group of the Year because there are so, so many people that are involved in this. Mostly myself, I think. Is <laughs> David, good work. Good work this year. Uh, there's a fellow right there named Mr. Paul Wyro who... who uh, stand up. Stand up, Paul. <laughs> who works endlessly for us. And, and thank you so much for this, Paul. I um, obviously want to thank my two best friends in the world um, who I was reminded by my wife this week that I've probably meant, spent more time sharing a bed with David in the last two years than I've probably been at home. Um, it's been an incredible journey and it feels like we're just getting started. I, I really want to thank uh, the love of my life um, for the last 20 years, Trina Elizabeth Scare, who is also Washboard Union's merch manager and helps design everything we do. And, has been such incredible to be on our team. Um, so what I would like to say is that uh, any musician out there or group or uh, solo artist or whatever, the, whatever it is out there, uh, it does take a team. And if you've got someone back home who is uh, uh, you know, keeping the home fires burning or you know, paying your rent, whatever, you, what's going on there. But... I know that I've got someone at home who takes care of my kids when I'm away, and I can't thank you enough, Minden. Thank you so much for doing that. It's a lot of time on the road that we are out there, and we're very busy, and we're thankful. Thank you, Paul. But thank you very much, Minden, for uh, taking care of that. So any of those people out there who are uh, either taking care of kids or helping people uh, to stay on the road and do their dream, thank you very much. We're short. It's true. We're short. <laughs> well, these guys have sure made a name for themselves. Kadu signed with 604 Records, released his first single, 24 Reasons, and has a new EP coming out soon. And Dallas Smith described Sean as a who in the hell is that kind of moment. Sean is one of the top 10 most played Canadian country artists on radio following his debut single, Paradise Found and then followed by his next single, We Belong. With close to two and a half million streams to date, I'd say he's on the right path. Please give it up for Kadu and Sean Austin. Between us in the getaway car Oh baby you know that I didn't mean to make you cry You know that I'll do anything to make it right Right now just turn around Sweet kiss and so perfect every time 
We don't belong about Cause you belong, you belong, you belong right here With these arms wrapped all around you Ain't the same without you The way your hair fits just like it was made for By the way your sweet kiss fell so perfect every time Like destiny, destiny, we're meant to be, meant to be You belong, you belong, you belong Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. John Austin. John Austin, everybody. You're going to love this guy. Make some noise for Kadu. Whoa. Man and his Mary Jane take a little trip on a crazy train. Bitch about a problem, smoke them if you got them, I say. And we got the Kenwoods cranking out a country song. Take a Polaroid picture if you can't stay long. The wheels fall off, ain't gonna stop tonight. That's right, little something to run, run along. Like a late night wine and road, little something to run. Roll on, little road trip radio I'll pick you up on the Friday The highway, the only highway will be on Hand me that ripped up retro cover of the Rolling Stone Little something to roll on Well, crazy is as crazy does A couple country kids in a beat up truck I'm a little off road that's the truth. As long as I'm not getting lost with you, let's run, run on like a late night wine and road. Little something to run, run on. And your daddy don't need to know. I'll pick you up on the Friday, the highway. I'll be loving you all night long. Whether it's the pain off dark spot, I hit a little open road. Give me something to roll on. Thank you. Good evening. I'm honored and privileged to be here to do Album of the Year Award. It is one thing to record a single and a whole other to record an album. There's lots of blood, sweat, and tears, which basically for all of you mean a lot of money. Huge congrats to each and every act in this category. It's no small feat to record an album. And the nominees are... The nominees for Album EP of the Year. AJ Jardine, Midnight and Bourbon. Ben Click, Working on a Legacy. Karen Lee Batten, Under the Covers. Roland Trainwreck. Stomp. The Heels. Love Heels. The Washboard Union. What we're made of. And the album of the year goes to Washboard Union. Come on. You guys, thank you so much. Um, one thing I'd like to say is that, um, as a lot of you know, and I've talked to a lot of you who, who um, talk about country music and what a family country music is across the country, but uh, specifically in each of our provinces, and uh, the BC Country Music Association is, uh, is one of those families. And so 
they embraced us very early on, and uh, that's you. And so I just want to say thank you so much for being a family that embraces um, everybody and makes it inclusive and supportive. And uh, this community could not exist without the supportiveness there. So thank you very much to you all for that. I'd like to thank our producers, uh, Matt Rovey and Jeff Dalziel, who we have spent hundreds and hundreds of hours with, and they're still not telling us how to do what we do. So thank you so much. Um, I lastly want to thank uh, a man who has been so important to our lives um, and really instilled in us how important integrity is when you're an artist and a human being. Um, and that is Ron Sakamoto, who is uh, kind enough to manage our band. And uh, we share this award with he and the hardest working man at country music that we mention again and again, but he, is, he told our story when no one gave a damn, and he continues to tell it every single day. So Paul Barriero, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. And I guess I'd just like to finish this with a joke. So once uh, we were... I think we're done. Our next presenter just took home the CCM, CCMA Award for Female Artist of the Year for the second consecutive time. She also recently made history by becoming the first solo female artist to take home the Fans' Choice Award at the Country Music of Ontario Awards. Please welcome Megan Patrick. Hi. Um, everybody still alive out there? You doing good? Thank you, Sean. Um, so the competition is always fierce in this category, and you have to be, uh, being a female in this crazy industry. Um, but I can say I feel really lucky to stand beside some of the best female country artists in the world right here in Canada. Um, and I'm honored to be asked to present this year's Female Vocalist of the Year Award. And uh, the nominees are... The nominees for Female Artist of the Year, AJ Jardine, Emily Taylor Adams, Karen Lee Batten, Kristen Carter, Tiana LaFave Sanishin. All right, and the award for Female Artist of the Year goes to Karen Lee Batten. Okay, this is the only script I did not write. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I mean, time and time again, year after year, you support what I do, the crazy industry that I'm in and, um, and all the adventures and dreams that I have going to Muscle Shoals, Alabama and cutting this last record was such a, um, such a dream, uh, I didn't even know it at the time, but created with Mitch Merritt and Mike Pyle down in Muscle Shoals. We were able to cut a pretty cool uh, collaboration with the Swampers. Um, I thank my family, my husband, and my two girls are here tonight as well. And my parents are all here, and so thank you for all your support and the fact that you have me come back and host again for the second year. You guys are nuts. But thank you to Curtis for joining me on this stage. Um, it means more to me than you could possibly know as an independent recording artist to take home something like this. Believe me. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. Next, we have a couple of dudes to give a Dude the Male Artist of the Year Award. Jovan has 
30 plus years in the industry doing everything from delivering amps to drumming to songwriting and producing. Rod has seen the world fronting jet black stare before he turned to before he returned to his country roots. Please welcome from Bristol Records, Jvan Vujetevic and Bristol recording artist, an all-around cool guy, Rod Black. <clears throat> All right. Acapella? <clears throat> right. All right, dude. <laughs> we have to read this, by the way. <laughs> wow, dude. We get to give out one of the big awards of the year. Yo, dude, they've been killing it all year long. Dude, it's so nice to see these dudes representing BC in such a big way. Yo, Joe Van, there's a lot of dudes in this script. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I heard oh my god in the crowd. <laughs> and the nominees for Dude of the Year are... <laughs> the nominees for Male Artist of the Year. Aaron Burchett. Ben Click, Jojo Mason, Kadu, Sean Austin. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. For Dude of the Year, I mean Male Vocalist of the Year. Ready? Aaron Burchett. Come on, Jordan. You might as well just stand here all night. Okay, wow. I just texted Aaron and he texts back and he wants to apologize for not being here tonight. He was in the NHL alumni and he's just landed at home, but he said he'll be back next year for sure and he's thanking everybody. I'm so proud of him. He's one of the hardest working guys in this industry and uh, we couldn't do it without everyone, all of you. Thank you so much. That's it. Yes, and uh, I'm his son. I'm allowed to give him some little bit of shit, right? Yeah. Little bit of shit sandwich. If he were up here, he would thank Dallas Smith and Chad Brownlee for not being in the category this year, so. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Chad Brownlee for not being in the category this year, so. <laughs> thank you. Yes, so, like, we're almost at a wrap. How about that? Linda's like, it's about time. You guys aren't tired yet, are you? <laughs> well, Linda is, but nobody else is tired, right? <laughs> so, we've watched so many amazing acts on stage tonight, so many awards won, and, you know, I mean, I know that they've, like, you know, checked off so many different categories, but I feel like there just might be... I don't know, like a few categories maybe missing. Well, it's tough because there's so many categories you could add and, and so many categories people would like to see. And, and myself and KLB and a very, very small committee um, have come up with some alternative awards that we would like to uh, discuss right now. Yeah, this board of directors right here, it's, a, it's just a deuce. But, yeah, you know, just the two of it's us. okay, right? So, I mean, the first award that, that we think is important. Did you hear the whole room go quiet just Yeah, then? because they're really buying into this. I it's know, great. they really they are buying wait, into this. They can't wait. waiting with bated breath. Mm -hmm. Most likely to use an entire bottle of hairspray before going on stage. The nominees are... The nominees are... Jesse Birch. <laughs> Mr. Dave Hartney. Sean Brown. I don't even know how that got. Uh, like, does he like it shiny or something? I don't. 
And Kirby K. And Kirby K. And the winner is Sean Brown. Hey, buddy. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> He's bald, in case you guys yeah, didn't, know, you didn't know, but he just really likes it shiny. He's got hair on his face, just not on his... He does, yeah. yeah. All right, so the next one is the act that just acts super innocent, but is totally not. They really aren't. And the nominees are... Kirby Barber. Dave Barber. <laughs> Tom McKillop. Who wrote... Tiana Lefebvre. And Craig, Craig McElveen. And the winner is Emily Adams. It's not even, she's not even in that. I, I, I guess. She's not even nominated in that category. Yeah, that's, I don't know how she made it in there. That's super strange. Then we have uh, <laughs> most likely to play a longer guitar solo than you're supposed to. We have a lot of nominees in this category. That's yeah, weird. I don't even know. So we have Jay Bittner. We have John Tucker. John Ellis. Mitch Merritt. Jesse Wainwright. Ryan Steed. Sean Mahan. Chris Rowland. Dave Hartney. Tony Dell. Eric Reed. <laughs> Darren Savard. Jeff Keynes. Dave Barber. Vic Cronley. And Kirby K. And no one wins ever. Never in that category. Spoken like a true lead singer, right? Uh-huh. Yep. All right, and the last and final award that we have for you tonight, most likely to be the most excited about the new legalization of marijuana. Every, Every single, single artist in this yeah. room. And the winner is... 7-Elevens everywhere. And that's a wrap from our nominees. Your award is, we're done. Back to you, Sean. He knows how to make the perfect ice cap and the secret ingredient in Timmy's Chili. She was the 2010 Female Artist of the Year and has three nominations this year. Please welcome from Tim Hortons, Steve Adams, and multi-nominated female vocalist and daughter, Emily Taylor Adams. Hey guys. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so if I screw up, just look at the shoes, because, yeah. <laughs> wow, thanks so much, everyone. We get to present the biggest award of the night. Oh. How did we get that? I know, <clears throat> that's awesome, but I know exactly why. Late night recording sessions, lots of coffee to stay awake. They're just looking for free coffee. <laughs> that's definitely it. So I'm making a new album. Can I have some money, Dad? <laughs> no. Dang it, Dale. Well, the Entertainer of the Year nominees are... The nominees for Entertainer of the Year. Aaron Bridget. Ben Click. Chris Buckband. Karen Lee Batten. Roland Trainwreck, The Washboard Union. And the Entertainer of the Year Award goes to... The Washboard Union. If I could just take a minute. <laughs> uh, we hang out a lot together, and uh, I know a lot of you guys in this room know what it's like to spend many, many hours in a very small space. And uh, I can't tell you how proud I am of my brothers and, and 
how proud I am that we actually get to do this every single day. And we laugh at ourselves more than any of you guys in this room right now, constantly. And, uh, we are honored, honored for this award. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Back at you, David. You too, Chris. If I could take another moment. <laughs> I take it at face value. I'll give it a... Um, one other thing. Um, look, there's a lot of artists in this room. I've dreamt about being a performer my entire life, and, uh, and now I'm doing that. And it, it feels so good. And I guess I want to say that if you've got a dream and you've got a, 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 a desire and the passion and the drive to do that, then go for it. And I'm in no way to stand in a position to be like, you know, go for your dreams or anything. But I'll tell you, it is possible. And, uh, and I just love being with my brothers here. And I thank my family. And I thank Paul Byro and Sakamoto. And uh, BC is kicking ass. <laughs> We've got some great talent here in BC. And Canada knows. Believe me, Canada knows. So to you guys... Till next year, let's do this. Keep making those tunes and keep rocking those stages because you know what? BC's showing up. Um, Canadian radio has been very good to us, and that all started here in BC. Um, the radio stations in BC have always been first ones to add our songs. They've been our biggest supporters, and they spread that message across Canada, and we can't thank you enough for playing our records. Beyond that, I've seen more talented people in the last 48 hours uh, from the artists we've been able to see that BC country music is in such good hands. And there's some incredible artists that are going to be uh, lighting up the stage nationally and internationally in the next little while. And, and lastly, please thank all of the nominees in this category who are all incredible entertainers and deserves all the love and respect in the world. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be nominated with you. You guys, thank you so much for all the love. Have a fantastic evening. Two thousand eighteen CCMA Female Vocalists of the Winner. Megan Patrick. <laughs>
Thank you so much. your butts up here. That's right. That's our show, folks. Thanks to the BCCMA, its board of directors, the staff, and the management here at the Hard Rock Cafe. Please remember, if you guys have silent auction items, don't forget to pay for them, but if I have bid on one, you just, like, keep your hands off. And a thank you to all of our presenters and our performers, and congrats to all of our nominees and, of course, all of our winners as well. Please put your hands together, give a big, huge round of applause to our amazing band, you guys. Uh, that band has killed it. That's a rocking band. From this afternoon, doing all sound checks to this entire night, like playing behind all of us. Well. Drive safe, you guys. Till we see you again, everybody. You know I don't, like, totally hate you, right? Like, I actually don't hate you. No, and I don't dislike you either. Yeah. We're gonna kiss and make up later. She's like the sister I never wanted. I already have a brother. I don't need you too. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, and to you. On the count of three. One, two, three. Good, Good night, night, everybody!